Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. We're on day one of a brand new week, and that means before we can get started, we need to wrap up last week. And as you can see, I did not get a very nice amount of sleep last night, so we uh, are going to start off with only 69 sleep points, which puts us at um, 4,324. And for our daily lottery, we're going to grab what we got. A biscuit would be nice. 20 diamonds is even more nice. I will take that. I will take 20 diamonds. All right. And then let's jump into this final sleep report for fire week and see if maybe we can get some of these fire types. The ever elusive Cyndaquil would be nice if we could get a few of them. Maybe with that low sleep score, that means that we'll get uh, more of the lower spawns the lower ranked spawn so maybe we'll actually see a cyndaquil but who knows only five hours and 50 minutes of sleep sounds about right uh did not did not do well three percent dozing 65 percent snoozing and 32 percent slumbering that is a snoozing type which is good it is pseudo balanced but that does skew it towards the snoozing side um uh, and with a 69 sleep score what is that like 50 million maybe oh no even more wow surprising it is a lot of one stars so that's either a bunch of what we want or a bunch of the uh higher ranked one star sleeps maybe a bunch of evolved forms which would not be good and a top belly eradicate that's good it's a, a good amount of dream shards it's not a new one though i thought that would be a new sleep style Ooh, on it Finally, a Cyndaquil. Looks like no... Oh, there is one new sleep style. So we've got Riolu, Haunter, Cyndaquil, Vulpix. Two things we really, really want. Onyx, I would like to get another one, but it just costs way too much for me to try to get one right now. Ditto, okay. And Raticate. What is our new one? That's really the question. Uh, let's check on the right. Oh buddy okay a brand new typhlosion i'm really kind of watching it i want to see if uh like the flames shoot out at any point but it doesn't look like it i just didn't want to quick uh, click away too fast <laughs> It's said that when Typhlosion tosses and turns in its sleep, its fur rubs together and occasionally produces blasts of fire. Take care not to venture near a sleeping Typhlosion by accident. All right, very nice. Very nice. That should be a decent amount of dream shards, too. I didn't even look at how much that would give me. Of course, the Typhlosion's hungry. Of course, the Onyx is hungry. <laughs> oh, man. As much as I love Typhlosion, uh, I didn't want it to be hungry, but we did feed the Cyndaquil last time. I forgot about that. So one biscuit is all we need to take that Cyndaquil home. Um, using more biscuits than I would like this week, but I think it's worth it. Particularly if we can get a good Vulpix and or Cyndaquil. Either one would be fantastic. Um... Uh, let's go ahead and feed a biscuit. Mm, I was hoping for a big hit to make sure we take that home because I have a feeling it's going to be full. It's not full. We're using more biscuits than what I wanted, but hopefully it's worth it. We're going to find out very soon. All right, and then let's go ahead and feed this last biscuit to the Cyndaquil. And I think we're going to wrap it up there. I was debating on if I wanted to uh, give a biscuit to the Typhlosion, but that would just that would just be silly. It's better to catch them in their pre-evolved forms and evolve them on your own. Um, we're still going to send out the Vulpix candy. I would like to send out the Typhlosion just to show off, but nobody really looks at the pictures anyway. So we're going to send the Vulpix candy and make sure that everybody has plenty before Entei Research. And our final research of Fire Week is going to give us 2,241 research XP and 5,552 Dream Shards. I think 
I think exactly one less than yesterday. I feel like we had 5,553 or maybe it was 35. I just remember thinking, oh, that's funny that it's all fives except for the one. Anyway, um, let's see. This Vulpix is going to be soybean, corn, soybean. Which isn't bad. That's fine. It did get a sassy nature. Uh, helping speed is good. Skill trigger is okay. Where's helping speed? There it is. Skill trigger, inventory up. Mm, that's all right. Ingredient finder is not good. We don't want that. And inventory up L. With a sassy nature, we know that that is um, main skill chance up. All right. So this one's going to be all right, but not quite what we're looking for, but significantly better than the other simply because of the helping speed. Well, not as, not, uh, not as much better than the others as I had thought. Only a 60 total PR and the others were 55 and 56, but I think the 55 might actually still be better. I think it had helping bonus or something. It had something that uh, was beneficial for everybody. Energy recovery, I forget. Um, but this one's not bad. We're gonna keep it for now. I'm gonna, I need to go through all my Vulpix now that the week is over and see um, just exactly what we have. Cause it's, it's been a little while since we've seen some of them. I'm not sure, but we haven't caught anything that's really fantastic. Certainly no berry finding. So we may just have to make do with the best one that we have for the team. So I'll go back through those and we'll figure it out. Um, for now, I'm just going to put it in the box and we're going to move on to the Cyndaquil. And hopefully that one is better. I do have a somewhat decent Quilava, but could definitely use a better Cyndaquil. So level 13 in Sirius uh, with ginger, herb, and oil. Good. A nice spread of ingredients. Uh, we've got energy recovery bonus. That's all right. Skill trigger M. It's, it's okay. Uh, skill level up S. Helping speed M. And skill level up M. So it'll be at level 6 just naturally. But again, almost forgot to change the nature. Sirius is neutral nature, so it doesn't really help us much. Yeah, this one, this one is significantly worse than the Quilava we already have. I'm pretty sure the Quilava we already have is like 70 PR or something like that. And this one, total of 26, which it's not bad but typically with a charge strength s i don't collect from the berry gatherers i just let their inventory stay full all week so really the only sub skill that helps me with how i usually run this kind of berry specialist is helping speed at level 75 and yeah that's um it's not great let me just out of curiosity let's see what the expected skill count looks like. I mean, it's not looking too bad. Level 25, it does go up to 92. Um, yeah, looks like maybe we can expect or no, I think that might be the level. Yeah, that's the level of the main skill. Somebody was telling me the other day that you could read how many expected skill counts you could get on this screen, but I'm not seeing where that would be. Because that's the level. That's the rankings out of the total possible combinations. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing anything that is an actual number of potential skill triggers. I mean, so far, 83 is pretty good, but I don't think its base skill trigger rate is very high, and its main skill is not really the greatest. So it just kind of is okay. I don't know. I don't feel good about this one. 
I don't think this is one that I want to invest my limited resources into, uh, particularly without having berry finding. We already have a decent Quilava, like I said, that we have invested some into, so we may just have to carry that one on into Entei Week and just further invest in it. But that's also uh, if we even have room for Berry Specialists for Entei Week, because with the, with the curry we're going to try to make, may not have a whole lot of room on the team. But not bad. Uh, the Vulpix is all right. Cyndaquil, not so much. That one's going to be sent to the Professor, but we can move on and see how the rest of the week is going to treat us. But first, we've got to wrap up this past week and get our weekly summary. We now have 50% area bonus at Topalo. It is almost maxed. Um, I think, I, yeah, I only have maximum area bonus in one map on green grass, of course. But now we've almost got two. Now that I'm looking at my area bonuses, uh... <laughs> Snowdrop is getting ignored a lot. But we did make it to Master 7 with a final strength of 821,201, which is crazy. That means we got like 400,000 after I stopped caring about um, about really growing the rank. So kind of weird that that happened. Our gains from berries, of course, are down 291,193, but our gains from cooking is up 530,008. So... Not bad, but yesterday definitely messed me up on my weekly summary and my overall grade of B because my sleep duration and midpoint were terrible simply because of yesterday. That's the way it goes sometimes. But with that said, as far as where we're going to go for this week, I, I really don't know exactly where I want to go. Part of me wants to go back to Lapis to hunt that uh, better Ralts. Not Ralts, uh, Stuffle. Because we do need a better corn stuffle. But another part of me also wants to go back to Top Hollow and try to just get some more chances at Vulpix and Cyndaquil. And given that we're taking it easy this week and not really trying too hard, I think that is the right call. Because if we're not really going to try too hard, it's really best for trying to find the lower, uh, the lower sleep style ranks. Because then you keep the spawn pool narrowed. We got salads, which that's all right. Um, salads will, funny enough, actually help us keep our strength lower because I don't have the best recipe or ingredient gatherers for salads. So that's good in a way. Uh, let's see. We did get a medal. What did we get? No new news, of course. Uh, I did not mean to click on that. Let's go back. What about our medal? That's what I really want. Fire types? Number of fighting types, 100 for a small dream cluster. I'll take it. It's only one, but I will take it after what we did yesterday. And then for our community reports, we have 42 with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14. The doubled up. Very nice. Very nice. All right, and now let's get into breakfast. Um, should have plenty of sausage from Beware. And then should get quite a bit of ginger from our Pupitar. About 10 of them. That's good. Uh, <laughs> we'll definitely take some Dratini candy for free. Uh, a little bit more corn. Not as much as I would like to see a lot of herbs. Not as many herbs as I want to see either. I feel like I really need to be checking on this Dragonite or Dragonair more often. Seems like its inventory is very, very small. But we did get a skill trigger with Flareon, which is to be expected. So that means we do have a little bit of a bigger pot for breakfast. Not really going to be able to make much of anything, I don't think, simply because uh, we're on salads and we don't have ingredients for salads. So let's see what we can do. Um, Probably not going to be able to do much. Uh, <laughs> nothing. Bean ham salad, fancy apple salad. Um, what can we do? We definitely can't make these other two. Or three, I mean. 
What are we missing? We're missing ninja salad. We're missing immunity leak salad. Uh, we probably could do that one. It'll cost us five ginger, but we'll get 20 diamonds out of it. I think we'll do that. Um, what is it? 10 leaks and five ginger. We got plenty of time to get ginger stocked back up anyway. Not worried about it at all. Um, let's throw in the one cocoa and we will chill on the rest of it. We're not going to add more because we are trying to keep our rank somewhat low. Of course it goes extra tasty. Uh, of course you did. I mean, it's still only 8,427, so that's not too bad. Could have been a lot worse if we'd have really packed in that pot. Okay, so that is done. That'll probably put us at like basic three, I think. Let's see, basic three. Oh, we're already at basic two, so definitely basic three. All right, so that's pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, basic two. What's happening? What is happening? Basic two. Are we basic two or basic three? Cause this looks like we should be basic three. I have a feeling that when we come back from this menu, we're going to hit basic three. Let's go ahead and grab those 20 diamonds that we got while this weirdness plays out in the background. We only have two more dishes to make and we've made everything. Um, what else do we need to make this week? We just made the, where's it at? The immunity league salad. And then we still need the superpower extreme salad, which we almost have what we need outside of the eggs and the potatoes and the ninja salad. So a couple of things, but we're not far off as far as what we're going to do this week. Uh, not really too sure. I forgot to check while I was looking at that as to where our ingredients stand for what we need. I know we have more corn. Yeah, we have way more corn than we need. So we can swap out Dragonair and stop getting start getting some XP on somebody. Um, the sausage, we're almost there. The herbs, we are way off. And the ginger, we're almost where I want to be. I may throw Raichu on the team just to bring in some apples, just so we can keep making fancy apple. Either that or I'll do a mixed salad with just like one ingredient. I don't know. Kind of kind of not sure what to do on that one. But we can swap out the Dragonair, the corn Dragonair. So let's see, what do we want to swap you out for? We were looking at um, at the production comparison from the three Charmanders, but it deleted it. Oh no, I have to do it again. Still not really too sure which Charmander I want on the team. I'm kind of leaning towards the uh, triple sausage. Simply for the fact that um, at least we can have the sausage covered with that Charmander. And trying to split between sausage and ginger is just going to make it to where we don't bring enough of either. So I don't really know that that's the right choice to make. Um... Go ahead and say it's a Charizard. We've evolved it twice. And we'll do that with both, or all three of them, I mean. I was thinking about evolving the skill-focused one, but that just brings us random ingredients, not really the ones we want. Um, it does say that the one with helping bonus which is the one I was talking about, the skill trigger focused. Does bring in more strength. And I think that's true because it has helping bonus. But I still feel like it's better to get the 41 sausage per day than it is to get the helping bonus. 
because I think, I mean, with the helping bonus, we're only getting 16 sausage per day. And it is nice, it's a 5% buff to everybody. But if putting that one on the team means we have to bring in another Pokemon to bring in sausage, probably beware. Or possibly another Charizard, which I don't have the resources to invest in both Charmanders. Then that's a problem. So I'm really thinking we need to just focus on the Charmander that has triple sausage, which is not you. Is it you? It is you, but you are ingredient 40, but berry finding. So that's the other, that's the other question is do, how much do we let the rating of the Charmander affect our decision? Because it is only PR 40. The Charmander that we had before that doesn't have helping bonus, but is more solidly ingredient focused is a better rating. It just doesn't have the right ingredient spread. So that's the problem. This is our old Charmander. This is the helping bonus Charmander that's skill focused. And this is the triple sausage Charmander with berry finding. Between our old Charmander and the triple sausage, the strength is pretty much the same. We just get a lot more sausage. So yeah, I think that's the way to go. Even though it is PR 40, the strength is not too far off. And if it, if having this on the team allows us to consistently make the Kima Curry, then I think it's worth it over this one because it's a lot more strength we're gonna gain from the curry. So I think this is the one we're gonna put on the team. We're gonna let this one naturally grow at first. I don't, like I said, I wanna keep our rank low this week. So I don't wanna go ahead and put it into a Charizard at level 30. There's no point in that. Then we would grow a lot faster than I want to and there's just no point. So for now, this is what we're gonna have the team looking like this week. I'm not gonna do a team analysis because again, we're not super worried about rank this week. Uh, the one thing I do want to look at is, um, what is it? Sleep calculations, sleep style probability. So this is a premium feature, I believe. But what we can do with this is we can select multiple Pokemon. So we're going to select Top Hollow, Snoozing. We're going to select Charmander, Vulpix, Cyndaquil. Those are the ones we're here for. Actually, I forgot. I have to actually select this. Um, let's go ahead and put all of them on there. Just to look at the probabilities of everything. So these are our target sleep styles. All of the sleep styles for Charmander, Vulpix, and Cyndaquil. And let's say... Uh, you know what? Let's just go ahead and leave it at 100 million. It doesn't really matter. We can always just look at exactly what we want. But let's let this one run. And we can see that the expected count of Pokemon does fluctuate wildly across all three of them. Um, but when we get down here to the probability of any target showing up, we can see that it's very, 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 very high for now. Actually, it's very high that any of them show up all the way through. So we really don't necessarily have to focus on keeping our rank low as much as I thought. That is for is for Raikou mains, probably going to be very similar to Entei mains, but I'm not really looking at that. But that is there. Just be aware of it. This is exactly this right here. Expected count of targets is what I really wanted to look for to see the expected counts of each individual Pokemon. Um, But it's not showing up. This is the one I really wanted to look at and it's not showing up. So I guess we'll look at these and we can see that the highest chance we have of what the purple is Vulpix is actually very low. Sub 2 million drowsy power, which is only about, um, what, 20,000 strength. So the highest chance we have of seeing a Vulpix is at the very beginning. It does go up a little bit closer to the 48. Uh, around 45 million drowsy power. It does go up a little bit, not as much as we would like. Uh, Cyndaquil is this orange line on the bottom. So you can see it is the lowest chances and it actually looks like the odds peak 
around 20 million ish 19 20 million somewhere around there so that's our highest chance of seeing Cyndaquil is what it looks like if I'm reading these graphs correctly which I think I am but maybe I am wrong but uh, yeah it looks pretty pretty all right like I said, this was the one I really wanted to see and it's not showing up because this one I feel like gives a better breakdown of the individual sleep styles and where where you want to keep your drowsy power to find the highest odds of all the sleep styles put together. But I guess maybe I selected too many Pokemon. Um, I suppose we could. Let's go ahead and terminate this calculation. Let's take Charmander off and say we're only looking for those two. Let's run it again. Yeah, expected count of targets is still not showing up. I might still have too many. Um, let me just run one more quick test. Let's go ahead and turn off. Mm, let's turn off full picks. Let's only do Cyndaquil. See if maybe it'll show me then. No, still not working. Hmm. Not sure why. This is the one I really like to look at. All the other information is very good. Probability of any target is good when you're only looking at one Pokemon. Because then you can see, okay, your probability of running into a Cyndaquil of some kind of any of the sleep styles seems like it peaks around 20 million. So that number's come up couple of times I think that's what we said was the peak when we were looking at the expected count of Pokemon up here when we had all three of them so around 20 million seems to be the target just to really maximize the chances of Cyndaquil but it does have fairly consistent odds all the way up to 36 million before it drops off and then picks back up at 43 million a little bit not as high as it was before so it really looks like that uh, 20 to 36 million is what we're looking for which is only about uh how much is that oh that's research drop i'm looking at the wrong one it's still about the same still about the same that 20 million to 36 million and then picks back up at 43 yeah so i'm having a hard time doing math right now because i'm so tired um what is that 203,000 strength is what we need for let me just get the calculator because my brain is dead let's see we want 20 million that's the target divide by 100 200,000 yes 200,000 is what we're looking for 200,000 to 360,000 is a good range to maximize the Cyndaquil so we should be able to get there if we wanted but uh, like I said, I'm just kind of taking it easy and we're going to see how it goes. I may swap in a salad team for a day or something just to stock up some ingredients and maybe push us into the higher ranks. But for now, this is the team we're going to stick with. I'll think about it today. We might do that tomorrow. But I really just wanted to go through this uh, sleep style probability calculator because I use it quite often behind the scenes. And I wanted to show you guys, but of course the one thing I really wanted to see ain't working, but that's about the way it goes. And that is going to be it for me. Thank you all for watching the video. Sorry for being so low energy today. Like I said, I'm just very tired, but I hope you all have a wonderful day. And until next time, later dudes.